as you can see, we're not in the burno right now. We are in my shop. And I just finished assembling the solar array for the burno. One of the things that comes up when people say solar power is that it's unaffordable, unattainable. And I've alluded to this already in some of the videos that I've done. The cost of me putting power into this building is extraordinarily expensive. So in this case, I went to your local online app. I ordered up all this stuff months ago and it's been sitting here in my shop ever since. I went out and sourced at your, this ready angle iron with pre-drill holes in it. It's used in the installation. You can even see it up here in the ceiling if you're, if you're keen uh, to install roll-up doors. I used it years ago uh, before. It's galvanized and it's very strong, but you have to bolt it together. So I went through the tedious task of designing the frame for this. Uh, it's not as simple as it looks, even though it is actually very simple looking. I had to make sure that the lined up holes in the angle iron actually lined up with the solar panel or, uh, holes in the array so that I'm not stuck using an extra set of brackets that I don't need because the brackets that actually come with this, although they're great and they're great specifications, they're meant to actually mount on top of a surface that's already uh, available and there's no issues with space. But it would have actually overcomplicated it because then I'd have four sets of holes to line up instead of two on each side of each, each uh, unit. So this is actually more simple even though there was more math and more figuring out. I have a Renology Rover 40 amp MPPT charge controller. If I can get it out here for you, I'll give you a quick peek. This unit looks well made, has a cooling center on the back, and very small, not very large at all. Easy to use, easy to access, easy to understand, well marked, and there's the controller board in the bottom. This solar array is a very basic solar system. It's not the expensive panels. It's not overboard. They're about $150 each to replace. And I got a deal on them because I bought it all as a big group package. However, you have to be very careful with them because when you inspect them and install them, you want to make sure that you protect all the surfaces from being hurt or impacted or cracked or damaged, especially the back because that's where the electrodes travel through in it. Each panel produces 100 watts of electricity. Now to most people that doesn't really mean anything, but what it actually turns out to produce on peak conditions at peak times is about 20 volts, which is excellent. <laughs> That's a, a good enough for me. It's not the best. It's by far the best, but at this price point, it works out really well. So I'm hoping that with the installation method, the way that it's being installed, the exposure is going to get, we have a lot of snow and wind to shed in our climate. This is going to get true southern exposure because we're in the northern hemisphere. This panel is set to 35 degrees instead of a straight 45. The 35 should help with shedding a lot of the snow buildup and ice buildup that will accumulate. If not, the whole panel, but from the top half of the panel at least, because all the weight of it should shed down and travel off the panel. We're going to be going to install this uh, shortly. I wish I had more to tell you about it, but the panels are simply what they are. Every everything is available online for information. You got to determine the size and your power consumption, how often, how frequent, and how much you're going to use it and then build your system based on it. I have experience doing this from a previous camp that I did where I used a, just a simple 100 watt panel. We were able to keep a, a car battery charged up for occasional weekend use for about six or seven hours at a time so that the kids could uh, watch TV, rest, warm up while we were uh, taking a break from our outdoor activities. This system here is significantly larger. The batteries are significantly better. So I expect about 10, 15, 20 times the performance out of this system because of how it's integrated and wired into the charge controller.
when I was building this, in order to get all the measurements exactly the same, because when you start mounting all of these different points, you have to have everything because bolt holes have to line up like a mechanic set. They all have to be cut exactly the same in relationship to one another. So all these backers, all the main supports, and all the uh, braces on the bottom have to be exactly the same in every square based on the relationship of this hole and the neighboring hole to this hole and so on. So that everything remains square and doesn't crack the panels. What I, how I did that was I actually laid them out on the floor and I actually drew this out and you can see the layout for it. And I marked the length of the overall panel, I marked the length of the pivot and I marked the bottom brace and the brace height. So I knew exactly where it was going. This is actually the side here that's going to be mounted to the deck. And we'll get to showing you guys that in a few minutes after we get it moved. So in a perfect world, so this is this is this isn't center. The center is to the right of this. So okay. that center should be here. Okay. And that top of that work bar I was saying should go right here. Okay. And then you should have all that space there. You gotta put a screw into it. Cool. Okay, let's try this. Lock her in. Hold on. It's almost there. That middle one, we're gonna drop that uh, leg bolt down yeah. to the bottom. Yeah. Because I need to just need to. I got I got one. All right, well I'll go down and get the ratchet. And then. The second one going in. How many people does it take to screw in a light bulb? Well, it takes at least four of us to put up a solar array. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, and follow. There's going to be a lot more about the solar system I'm putting in coming right up.